Welcome everyone. My name is Kylie Mintz and I'm a marketing associate here at Inflow CX. And today we're going to be talking about harnessing insights with Inflow CX managed services in order to unlock contact center excellence. So with that, we're going to give a brief intro on who is Inflow CX in case this is your first time joining us or hearing from us. Welcome. Um, after that, I'll hand it off to Tommy Mullins um, to dive into our managed services and our insights. We'll have a Q&A session, but if you have questions that come up throughout the webinar today, please feel free to throw them in the chat and we will answer them as we go through it or we'll hit them at the end. But there will be time for those, so please don't shy away from yeah, sharing your questions with us. And then we'll have a quick contact us um, for you to reach out. And with that, um, InfoCX, um, we help organizations evaluate, deploy, and optimize their customer engagement technology and uh, strategy. And so we do that by providing a vendor-neutral approach to um, technology evaluations, um, BPO labor strategies and operational effectiveness, and we'll help you make data-driven decisions utilizing ROI, TCO, and business case modeling. Our expertise spans, you know, the core CCAS as well as, you know, the vast um, ecosystem like AI, CX, UC, WFO, BPO, automation, and analytics. Um, and we provide a high-touch implementation and managed services, and ensuring unparalleled customer satisfaction with that average CSAT score of 99.6. So we know what we're doing. And with that, we work with a variety of customers in all sorts of verticals, different sizes. Um, so you can kind of see where that spans. This is just a sampling of it. Um, and so, yeah. And then with that, um, like I mentioned before, um, we do have a vendor neutral approach when it comes to identifying what's going to be the best fit for our customers. And so this is just a sampling of the vendor partners that we work with um, in the CX and CCAS and UCAS space. Um, so yeah, we work with the best companies for the best companies, um, making sure that their systems are you know, top notch, um, delivering unparalleled customer experiences for their customers. With that, um, before I hand it off to Tommy to um, lead off the meat of the webinar today, you know, we do have a quick poll question for you guys. You know, we're curious. Um, if you have a managed services provider, you know, are you going to the manufacturer? Are you going um, just to with a partner or if you're self-managing? So feel free to drop that, um, you know, what your scenario is in that little poll and we'll share the results momentarily. Well, thanks, Kylie. I'm gonna jump in here. So again, my name's Tommy Mullins. I'm VP of Operations and Service Delivery. So um, not only do I do all of our implementations, which is our project managers, coordinators, as well as engineers and trainers, um, but really handing things off to our managed services is what we're gonna focus on today and then how we can really harness um, some of our insights. So we're looking forward to kind of diving into some of this stuff. So if you guys do, like like Kylie said, have any questions, pop it in the chat. We'll try to get to it, but we definitely have an opportunity at the end for some Q&A. So let's just jump in really quick here to kind of our overview. Um, the one thing I'm excited to talk to you guys about is we're a year into revamping our managed services. If you back up about a year ago, our managed services um, was not only just stellar, but it was really kind of geared towards kind of break fix. And um, Everything that's kind of come to light in regards to technology, we we had to look ourselves in the mirror and say, what else can we provide it to our customers um, rather than just break fix? It was great, but what value adds, what other things that we can provide to our customers and, and give them some insights on what's happening with the investment that they've made in their technology. So um, we're really excited about this. We've had a lot of success over the last year and we're continuing to build on um, this program, but let's just talk quickly about what our overview is. So, you know, the one thing that we always say is that look to us as an extension of your team. We're not just another vendor. We're not just another partner. We want to make sure that your success is our success. And so what we've done here is we've really designed some features and benefits that allow you guys to get most out of your investment and your technology so that you guys can see the benefits of reduced overhead costs, um, boosting efficiency within your maybe contact center or your, your UCAS system, as well as allowing you guys to quickly scale up your operations based on you know the, the investment that you're going to be making. So 
the three pillars of way we break this down, and I'll go into detail on the next slide here, is administration, insights, and value adds. And so administration is really just going to be there for us to kind of be reactive to your guys' break fixes and troubleshooting. Um, and then I'll talk to you a little bit about the benefits and the features there. Um, but really, our goal is to just make sure that your system is up and running and that you're servicing your customers to the best of your guys' ability. Two um, is, is our second pillar there is our insights. And this is a new ad over the last year where, where this is what this webinar is about. So we're going to dive into that a little bit better. It's just going to allow you to have a good understanding of a QBR and frequent touch points from your CSM on, on looking at what's going on with your system. Maybe it's something that you haven't really noticed. Maybe you are a contact center that's extremely mature. Um, but oftentimes, you know, dealing with Inflow CX and some of our our team here is that we we see so many different verticals like Kylie put up there on the on our customer slide is that oftentimes we see things that our customers may be blind to that we offer up those tips and tricks of things that are happening that ultimately you know allow them to have some efficiency there and then the last is our our third pillar there which is some of the value adds and so we'll we'll talk a little bit about that we're really excited about it so these are our three packages for um, our contact center managed services. Uh, this can be also found on our website. So don't feel like you need to take a screenshot here or start recording. Um, feel free to go to our website, go take a look at this. They are um, broken out by category on there, but I'm just gonna kind of quickly go through these so that you can have an understanding and you're not kind of questioning what it is when you are looking at it. So let's just talk about administration really quick. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick technical onboarding. If you're a new customer to us and on an existing system, we wanna dive in, take a pop under the hood and see what we're dealing with and add some recommendations. Um, and then you also get access to free admin supervisor and end user agent training two times per year, no matter what package you choose. So maybe in the event that you've purchased or excuse me, um, hired some new employees or you had some turnover, we wanna make sure that you guys have access to our resources to come in and potentially train them and make them feel comfortable, confident and informed on the system that they're ultimately gonna be administering. We are open 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time. Um, so we're really kind of covering East Coast to West Coast there. And we are open 24 seven for emergency after hour support. Um, our incident response management is really a combination between not only our managers, but you know our, our higher up managers like myself that has really aligned ourselves operationally with a lot of the manufacturers. And in the event, and sometimes it does happen, we need things to get escalated. Um, I myself personally jump in and try to get movement on some of those. And let's just say that you went direct to a manufacturer. You, you probably aren't going to have the resources and connections that, you know, Inflow does to, to kind of get things moving along. So you're feeling like your case is not just sitting stagnant. We help move those things along. Our moves, adds, and changes, and deletes. You'll notice that that is across the board for all of our packages. That's something that we're really happy about is you get unlimited moves, ads, and changes up to an hour. And so in the event that you need, you know, maybe some skills added, cues added, uh, a new voice prompt that, uh, music on hold that needs to be added, you can reach out to us and we're gonna handle that for you. So reducing your guys' operation costs, leaning it into us and having us help you with that is really what that was designed about. Now, if you choose our elite package there, you will get what's called our assigned primary point of contact. Um, we're going to route your, your main calls, or you can tell us what numbers you want to be calling from, and we're going to route them specifically to an agent. And why we think that that's important is, is really going to give you guys some white glove service. Um, and you're going to start building a rapport with that agent on our side so that they really understand your system. Um, so we're really excited about that as well. Now, the meat of this, this webinar is the insights. Uh, I will cover this in detail in the next couple of slides, but let's just kind of go over this is, um, we are offering, as you can see on the tiers there, elite being at the end, kind of getting all of that. But the one thing that we are excited about is that across the board, standard premium and elite, you are going to get performance and system reports, which I will show here in a second. We're really excited about that. New feature summary is something that we rolled out again last year, and it can be daunting to get those emails that come in every single week um, from the manufacturer on new features that came out. And oftentimes our customers say, how does this affect me? How does this affect my business? What changes were made and what features should I be looking at into the future? And so we, we do a readout once a quarter on what those new features are, not just what they've released, but what we feel that those features are important to your specific organization. We also offer a annual contact, or, uh, contact center health checkup. Um, there's a lot of stuff that can happen in a calendar year that gets built into your system. And sometimes it needs to be checked. Sometimes it needs to be cleaned up. 
but we take a really deep dive up to about 16 hours of our time that we dive into your system and take a look at what's going on. And we can do a readout on what your system's doing and how it's performing. We also do a technology configuration assessment just to make sure that things are working optimally the way that they should have from the time that we installed your system, or maybe when you installed your system and you came over to us. We wanna do that on an annual basis just to make sure that your system's running at top notch. And then the last but not least, there is our KPI review. I know some of our customers and some of you are probably sitting here today saying, I do all my own KPI reviews and that's great. But we do have some customers that rely on Inflow CX and their insights on those KPI reviews. And I'll show a couple of things here in the next couple of slides. And then last but not least, I'll run through here really quick on some of our value adds. So every one of our customers, no matter what size you are, you are gonna get a CSM assigned to you. You get access to our monthly live trainings and webinars like the one we're on this morning. You also get access to our Inflow CX knowledge portal so that you can go in and search for self-servicing, fixing some of the solutions yourself. Um, and if you can't, absolutely open a case with us. But then professional voice talent. So you, you get one voice across your entire organization and it's multilingual. Um, and we give you an option to check out some of those voice talent actors so that you can um, be in control with what, how you want your customers to kind of hear your voice across your IVR. We also offer a 1800 hour conversational analytics insight trial. We've had a lot of success with this where customers have allowed us to jump in there and listen to some analytics and they have had a tremendous amount of cost savings. Um, one example is we had a customer of ours that ran this and ultimately come to find out that they were having an issue with some of their shipping return labels that ultimately saved them $350,000 a year on a problem that was changed based on some of the analytics that we ran. And that was based on their free trial of the 1800 hours. We also get custom music on hold. So, you know, depending on what you are doing, maybe you're running rates, maybe you are in the financial aspect of it and you want to have custom things while your customers are on hold. Um, you can leverage us for that as well. And then the last thing that I think is incredible down here is if you choose either premium or elite, you are going to get access to a discount on all pro services. So anything from an implementation or a technical account team, you're going to get access to that as well. So let's just jump into some of the insights like I talked about. So this image that I'm showing here is a review of all of the skills that are tied to skill-based routing. And so what this allows us to do is we dig through these metrics, allow us to see flaws into potential interactions that are assigned to agents. Maybe there's unnecessary, unnecessary skills that are being used, or maybe even just underutilized. Now, this specific customer here, if you look at the answer rate and their percentage, it's great. They're answering their calls often. You also don't see very many abandoned calls in here as well. So for the most part, this customer is doing a fantastic job. But the one thing that I want to call you out to is that they do have a VIP line. And you'll notice that down there that we've put a lot of those VIPs on hold. And so we've also transferred some calls that have come out of those queue. And so yes, you are answering great and your your um, average speed of answer and abandonment rate is, is, is pretty low. That's fantastic. However, this insight allowed us to have cust uh, a, a conversation with our customer on what's happening with your VIPs. Is this normal? Um, again, we're, this isn't a part of our business, but we want to engage ourselves so that we feel that we are a part of your business to help drive thought, have ask questions, um, things like that. Our next image down here that I want to walk you through is basically an overview of how flows are working for this customer. What's the output, how they route, et cetera. So this is going to allow us to decide whether or not that they should be adding or removing functionality based on what was originally required in the flow. Now, if you did an implementation from us and it's been a couple of months and things have been changed internally, that's fine. We want to re-review what's going on with this flow, what outcomes are happening within the flow, and is there anything that needs to be changed? So one thing that I like to always kind of call out on here is, is this customer using any participant data that may help later on in the flow? Some of them are yes and some of them are no. Um, maybe the customer says, well, talk to me a little bit about what that participant beta does, um, and we can have additional dialogue. So again, a lot of this may be what the customer already knows, and, and it is set there. But what these insights are doing is allowing for dialogue, discussion, and ultimately enhancements to your system so it's not just a set it and forget it situation. All right. The next slide is what we kind of call our agent assessment. So this is looking at individual agents 
across the organization to see who is potentially avoiding calls, who's spending time off of queue, maybe at an abnormal rate. Um, but we also refer to this section as the accountability page. This is allowing us to saying, how long were you logged in? How long were you on queue? How long were potentially you weren't responding or you were off queue? How long were your breaks? And I'm assuming most supervisors are gonna dig into this and have great conversation with their agent, but maybe you are a customer that doesn't have that level of supervision that this type of a report on a quarterly basis will allow you to have conversation with your staff, enhance your staff, you know, maybe you need to reduce staff or maybe you need to, to hire staff. And a lot of these type of reports and, and insights allow supervisors, contact center managers to have this conversation at an operational level and either reduce staff or increase their staff. And so these are just more tangible reports, conversations that we can have with our, our customer success manager and your team on how your contact center is working for you. And so this kind of gives us a really good insight on, on what's happening at, at the agent level. So we talked about agent, but let's talk about the queues, right? So what queues are coming in and what that looks like, right? So this is another example of, I showed one customer that was doing great. Let's talk about the queues for a customer that's maybe not doing so great. So you'll see here in column S, we have a lot of calls that are offered to some of these queues, but the answer rate is extremely, really low. I mean, some of these are 10%, 30%. Abandonment rate is just really, really bad. So this is a conversation that we've had with customers and you know you get some frustration. This is just additional data that helps you solidify what you may think is going on with your system, having have conversation. Now you'll notice that there's a lot of cells that are missing there. Those are cues that nothing is happening with. And so what we look at this is maybe that queue is understaffed, maybe it's overstaffed, or maybe if it's even necessary. So those cells that you see that are empty right there um, is often combined with you know, users and queues and skill-based routing to really avoid these empty cells. Why are they being built? What was what's the original intent? And can we combine those so that we can get a better offer and answer rate within the queue? The last slide that I wanna show here this is kind of our QBR. So this is how you take and make receive calls from us and work on your cases and tickets. So again, this is us looking at ourselves in the mirror saying, this is our value back to you as a customer. And let's just kind of go through this. So the first thing in the upper left-hand corner that we're gonna talk about is the longest and shortest case. Sometimes there's gonna be some cases that may take a couple days. Maybe it needed to be escalated. Maybe there were some cases that were really short and, and small. But what we do is we take a look at all of those cases and we say, we have a lot of really small cases that are going in there. Do we need to maybe potentially do a training with you for free? Maybe we need to take advantage of one of those just so that we aren't opening as many tickets. It's not that we aren't here to help and support you, but we wanna make you, again, confident and informed about what's going on in your system. The next one is the new case origins of what type of case came into us. So we're gonna read that out to you on, did you send us an email? Did you phone into us? And have you gone through our web? There's a couple ways that you can access us. So this specific customer here, you can see that they don't call in very often. They feel very comfortable opening a web portal case with us. Now there's nothing wrong with that. And in fact, it's completely okay. But what we do like to see is in the event that we've had a lot of cases that were long or maybe they needed to be escalated, but they were open via the web, we're not gonna get to you that fast. And so I know that Kylie's got an opportunity to ask another question here, but we always like to know what kind of happens on first response. Yeah. Um, we definitely want to make sure that our customers are in the event that you have an issue calling into us. We have a three ring answer policy. So when you do have an issue, you're probably going to get an, an a, a live agent on the line with us within 12 to 16 seconds based on our three ring answer policy. Yeah, so for the audience, you know, we have a quick poll for you guys. If you have a managed services provider, you know, what is your guys' estimated first-time response um, of where you're getting that, um, you know, check-in to get the process rolling for them? And I'll give it just a second to get a couple more responses in, and then I'll share that or share those results. So while you guys are taking a look at that poll number two, I'll just kind of continue going down here, is... Um, we also track all of your manufacturer escalations. We know that that's important. We know that that's critical. And this specific customer has multiple platforms on a UCAS and a CCAS system. And so we always like to see where are those escalations coming from? Is it one specific platform? Are they both? In this event, it's both. 
Um, and there's that's completely fine. But then the other thing we do is we also break it down by who's opening these cases. And so I've blurred out the customer names for potential reasons. Um, but you'll see j just over the last uh, quarter here that this customer has opened about 90 cases, and that's totally fine. Uh, however, you can see that it's pretty evenly dispersed amongst all of them, which is great. What we don't want to see is that you have one person that opens 89 cases and one person that's opened one. We, we, we definitely like to see that, and then they're dispersed evenly. Um, and sometimes when we do look at one person that's maybe a culprit, right, might be the too t uh, tough of a term there, is does that person need some training? Does that person need some ad administration? Were the cases that were closed in our in our wrap clo case closure code was customer education? Um, we definitely want to make sure that we are um, taking, making, receiving, and closing out your cases, but we want to have, again, insight on how we're doing and performing for, for you as a managed services provider. And with that, we have the results of our poll. I'll share those. Great. So about 75% of you guys are sitting between one and, and four hours. And, and you know, looks like a, a couple of you there are less than one hour. Um, Inflow, uh, we did a little over 7,000 cases in 2023. I know we're, we're just into 2024 here. So out of our 7,000 cases that we took in 2023, our first time response was 1.02 hours. So just at about an hour. Um, and that's taking into consideration our phone, our web and our email. So that's all factors. Um, and so again, if you do have issues and you are concerned and you aren't having a managed services provider that's getting back to you quickly, pick up the phone. We have a three ring answer policy. So we're gonna, we're gonna handle that as quickly as possible. So I know that we went through that quickly. I'd love to see if there's anybody in the chat that has any questions. We're probably gonna switch over now to um, Q&A. Um, Kylie, what questions have come through the chat? Yeah, it looks like we had one come through. Um, the question is, what is a good CSAT for a company to strive for, as well as what is Inflow's CSAT? Great, that's a great question. So industry standard kind of in the technology realm is between uh, 72 and 75%. Um, there were some customers that would be thrilled uh, if their managed services provider was at that, that rate. Um, I can tell you that uh, we ended in 2023 at 99.6%. That's 7,000 cases worked like I talked about. Um, we only had four negative responses all of last year. Um, which is unheard of. We are um, doing really, really well from making sure that you're satisfied on what's going on, closing cases, not closing them early, reaching back out. How can we be of assistance? Um, and in, in 2022, we were at 98.9%. Um, and so um, we, we hold a high level to our team. Um, and we also just want to make sure that our customers are feeling satisfied with what's going on. I always say this to my team. Um, and to the broader group at Inflow. No one's contacting us to tell us how great we're doing. They're contacting us because something's broken or needs to be fixed. Um, so to satisfy a customer when something's wrong just tells you um, how well our CSAT looks like at being 99% um, that we wanna make sure that you guys are taken care of. Are, did we answer everything? Are you feeling good about that? Um, because again, you're, you're only contacting us because of problems, not, not telling us how great we are. Awesome. And it looks like we have one more question come in. in. And like I said, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to drop them in the Q&A. Um, but for Tommy, um, for those that are self-managing their um, contact centers and their systems, you know, why would someone want to, you know, go to a partner and what, what would be the benefits of that? Great question. In fact, we, we see a lot of people that self-manage um, themselves uh, right after deployment and think, hey, we can do this ourselves. And I'm sure you have smart and bright people that are on your staff that can handle that. Um, however, our years of experience and our 900 customers that are currently under our managed services contracts um, allow us to have kind of a depth and breadth of all verticals and an understanding of what's going on. And what we talked about on this was not only our insights of what's happening to your system, but also our value adds that are coming onto us, right? So professional voice talent, discount on pro services. So 
we just feel that we've kind of put together our three pillars of our managed services that is going to be very compelling to somebody that's not only self-managing today, considering self-managing moving forward, or maybe you're with the manufacturer today and you're just not getting what you think that you, you deserve out of that contract, you're paying for it, is come over to Inflow. You're going to see not only success, but um, we're not just here for break fix. We want to make sure that you are successful and your system's running at peak performance throughout the entire year through our quarterly checkups. Awesome. And, you know, that begs the other question. Why would someone want to go to a, you know, partner for managed services over the manufacturer? I think that's another great question because I think that not that the manufacturers um, don't care about their customers, right? I think that they absolutely do. I think that partners just put a nice white glove touch on anything that they're possibly doing. I know that that's what our our focus is here at Inflow CX is um, making sure that we are here triaging cases and, and issues before we even go to the manufacturer. We're not taking cases and immediately just, you know, copy paste it and open a case with the manufacturer. We are triaging. We are working. We're pulling logs. We're we're digging into it. We're maybe even communicating with our service delivery team who deployed this a few months ago and said, customers calling in, we have an issue. Do you guys remember what happened here? And we collaborate between our two organizations to make sure that we are getting answers before we ultimately have to open a case with the manufacturer. Now, the manufacturer is not going to have um, maybe that insight on who deployed it, right? We maybe have deployed it. Maybe you had another partner deploy it, but now you're going direct. They have no insight into who built it and why. Um, and that that's another reason why I think that you know going with a partner is, is really in their best interest. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And I don't see any other questions in the chat. So with that, you know, thank you guys for joining us today. You know, if you do have any questions that come up later on, you know, get in contact with us, you know, let us answer anything that you have going on. Um, there's our contact number and you can also reach us at contact at Inflow CX. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And Tommy, thank you so much for leading this off and sharing your great insights from the managed services team. Yep. No problem. Thanks, Kylie.